Tom Pagini with Flight Design. A couple of days into Oshkosh, and you've got a couple of exciting announcements with your company. Tell us what's going on. Hi, Tom. We're very excited this year. We are debuting the new F series, which uh, we're showing the F2, which is our brand new airframe for special light sport aircraft. It'll also be certified to Part 23 Level 1 as a two seater. And it is the first in the F series of a Rotax 912 IS powered aircraft, a Siemens electric powered aircraft, and this time next year we'll be debuting the Rotax 915 IS powered four seater. Interesting that you're moving into the electric realm. Is that just a space that you feel like you need to be in for your company at this point in its, in its lifetime? Yes, it's a good time to get involved, to really become more familiar with the technology. Europe, more than the United States, is pushing for more electric aviation. Countries like Norway and Germany, it's really becoming a big thing. How does the F-2 compare to current flight design products? It is a very deluxe version of our aircraft. It has a larger cabin than even the CT, which is pretty renowned for the size of its cabin. It's going to have Garmin G3X avionics suite, which is a change for us. It takes the original crash-worthy concept of the CT cabin to the next level. It's about two and a half times more rigid than the current CT cabin. What kind of performance are you expecting? Have you made some of those projections? On the F2 powered by the Rotex 912 IS fuel-injected engine, we're expecting we're going to have to slow it down a little bit for the SLSA category. We understand there's some changes coming in the future that we might be able to open up, but we'll hit the top of the SLSA category, which is 120 knots at maximum continuous RPM. But you're also looking at doing as a Part 23 certified airplane? We'll start off with a CS-23, which is the EASA equivalent, and then through reciprocity bring it to the United States and work with them. But the two-seater will be certified as a level one certified aircraft. That'll open up things we can do with it like IFR flight into IMC. It'll make the aircraft have access to basically all aviation markets worldwide and we think it'll make it more desirable for large flight training organizations. And then on the F-4, what kind of performance are you looking at for that airplane and, and who's your market for that? We're expecting and hoping for a 155 knot cruise. You know the 915 IS it's a turbocharged engine and it's uh, turbo normalized up to like 15,000 feet. So the higher you go, the faster you'll go. And we're expecting really great performance out of it. Um, my personal vision for the F4 is for a private owner with a recreational use, um, you know, not flight into known icing. It's more for the recreational pilot doing uh, light IFR and uh, we're very excited about it. We think it's going to be right on the money. Are you looking at price points for any of these airplanes yet? Well, the F-2, completely loaded, can't buy anything more put on it, is 194000 And we're hoping to bring in the F-4 at 280000 And any idea yet on the F-2E? We're expecting that's going to be $250,000, but without the batteries. Do you know which electric motor you're going to put in that F2E yet? Right now it's the Siemens SP90, which is uh, capable of 120 horsepower. And what kind of performance do you get out of that, out of the electric airplane? I'm afraid it's a little too soon to tell. It's just a proof of concept right now, and we'll have to get back to you on that one. Okay, but do you have any idea about how far, how, how range, and those kinds of things? Okay, what we're hoping to design to is similar to how the Tesla operates. We're hoping it'll make a big change in flight training that you'll be able to slowly charge it overnight, get it up to 100%, draw it down during the day, between lessons plug it into a supercharger, raise the level a little bit, go to the next flight, draw it down a little more, plug it into the supercharger, and then be able to use it almost all day before you have to stop and recharge. And that way you could have hour training flights. That's how people currently do cross-country drives in Teslas, so it's a pretty good analogy. 
Okay, well, Tom, it sounds like there are some exciting times ahead for flight design. Thanks for taking some time to uh, chat with us on Aero TV. Thank you very much for having me, Tom. Aero TV is brought to you by... Finally, a modern, affordable four-seater without compromise. Turbocharged Rotax 915IS power, 155-knot cruise, 800 nautical mile range, 1,000 feet per minute climb, and all that at 8 gallons per hour. Don't compromise. Check out the Sling TSI today at airplanefactory.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller.